Hello dear students, welcome back to practice maths. Today, today in this video we are going to find the solutions of integration that is exercise 6b here. Section 1 we are going to find the solution is uh, in this section there is 16 problems are there. We will find the solutions of these 16 problems and it is a very important chapter. It is from the inter second year maths b. Okay, so start with the first section and first question here. Before starting to 6b we are going to do something here uh, like 6b uh, is an exercise before this exercise we are going to some uh, see some important uh, uh, formulas and everything here 189 page of your textbook see there so 6.2.8 there are some formulas are there 1 to 7 formulas are there please go through those formulas like integral e power of ax dx is equal to like integral e power of ax dx is equal to 1 by a e power of ax plus c this will come here given this first two like seven formulas are there given in your textbook go there and see once okay after that 6.2.10 some examples are given there see first example given and second ex say first example integral 6x by 3x square minus 2 that is given and second one third one examples given there so please go through that example that is two marks questions important two marks for important like uh, we can say that important questions now after that 6.2.12 also there are some examples also there like uh, 1 to like 1 to 8 1 to 8 examples are there those these um, examples are so important please practice once like using your pen and paper please practice once and check uh, you are getting that answer or not uh, please try uh, once again once again because answer is given that there only so you can easily like uh, work on those and uh, again he is here given like uh, some important for pro problems are 6.2.17 also here so there some important uh, like uh, uh, two uh, two two problems are given these two problems also you do uh, using those before given like uh, some important like formulas are given the given those 6.2.13 like that some formulas also there so using those formulas you can execute those uh, examples also now here uh, what they are like 6.2.17 after that some important uh, again some important problems are there 6.2.19 in this uh, like 1 to how many problems are there in 1 to 7 problems are there so these all problems are important for your two marks questions and basic questions also it will help you to understand the exercise b to understand exercise b and if you have if you uh, uh, practice these like these all examples you will be able to write uh, you will be able to solve the 6b problems easily okay now please concentration on those things i am like i am going to direct 6b so this is a big chapter so many examples are also there and small small examples only small examples only given not big uh, using small small formulas then only you can get the answer so please practice those examples up to 20 examples are given maximum so please uh, examples are solved problems anything so these are total 20 problems are there you can easily practice uh, practice and do yourself uh, evaluate yourself okay so i will start with this uh, 6 b first bit okay here first bit here so first bit or first section here so what is given evaluate the following integrals he is asking us to evaluate some uh, problems are given and we have, we have to <coughs> evaluate that integrals now first one solution here so first one integral e power of 2x dx so first we have to know that formula which formula so we can use here to get the solution so i will write every question or if any questions uh, having formulas i will write uh, it there only so please uh, you write your uh, formulas also with respect to these uh, questions also so here integral e power of 2x dx uh, what formula we can use here means integral e power of ax is equal to we have to we can use formula here like that e power of ax divided by a so this is dx so this formula we can use here to get the answer here this one now uh, it will become plus c also we can write here so it is in your textbook i told you that seven formulas in there na? so we can there use there so here integral e power of 2x dx is equal to so what we can write it as e power of 2x divided by 2 and plus c so this is answer here the first question one okay na? so it is very important to understand the formula also so to uh, get the answer okay so in the a place there is two that's only now here second question solution here 
so integral sine of 7x dx is given here so which formula we can use here means here uh, we can use here sine of integral sine of uh, ax plus b dx is equal to minus cos of ax plus b divided by uh, a okay so this formula we can use here and it will uh, it will become answer uh, integral sine of 7x dx is equal to in the 7x plus 7x plus 0 we think that like this is as b uh, like i will do so it will become minus cos x means 7x divided by a a means how much 7 so this is the answer here so now moving to the next question here if you want to make as a like you can use c also plus c this is constant term okay now moving to the third question now third question is given integral x by 1 plus x square dx so this solution uh, i will do using the like uh, t, t method okay so t method will come like in this uh, from starting here so i will explain what is the t method like so integral x by 1 plus x square dx is given question so i will take 1 plus x square is equal to t or t is equal to 1 plus x square this one denominator okay now here dt is equal to i will do derivation d by d with respect to the dx uh, d by dx of uh, 1 plus x square will come here so d by dt by dx will remain like that only it will become uh, 2x will come so this dx will go this side and dt is equal to uh, 2x into dx will come here so here uh, x by 1 plus x square there na? in this i will submit the value here and it will become uh, x dx is equal to dt by 2 will come here x dx will come value so in this x dx is there na? i will replace with the dt by 2 so 1 plus x square is equal to t na? so integral uh, 1 by t into so x dx is equal to how much dt by 2 so dt by 2 will come here so this here 1 by 2 is then i will put this is a constant term i will put in the outside the integral it will become 1 by 2 into so 1 by t dt will come so here 1 by t dt uh, value so it will become log of t okay so this is log of mod t so 1 by 2 into log mod t plus c so t value how much here 1 plus x square means 1 by 2 into log of uh, 1 plus x square plus c is the answer here so using this uh, t method only we have, we have to we are going to find the solutions maximum solutions of this section one okay section one uh, solutions maximum based on this one only so fourth question will try once again once we'll we'll see okay now fourth question is given solution here so fourth question it is given integral 2x sin x uh, sin of x square plus 1 dx is given here so here solution i will take uh, x square plus 1 is equal to t i will take okay na dt is equal to so it will become 2x plus 1 means 0 so means dx will come so dt is equal to uh, how much will how much how much we getting 2x dx so here 2x dx is there i will replace with the dt okay na so it, this one will become t so i took as already become t so means uh, question here 2x sin of x square plus 1 into dx na in this i will submit the dx 2x dx value and after that sin of uh, x square plus 1 this okay uh, so integral sin t it will become so for this 2x uh, dx i will write as dt from this one okay from this one so means here so sin t dt is equal to integral sin t dt is equal to how much here uh, what, what, is, what, what is the value we will get uh, integral sin x integral this formula sin x dx is equal to how much the formula here you know so i already told in the integration part one so please go through there integration 6a okay this is 6b 6a i already discussed all the formulas please go there and check the formulas or in a textbook only you will find the formulas in the key concepts okay so please go through there and integral sin x dx you will find there okay it will become minus cos t okay cos t plus c so what is the t value here what we what we took here t value x square plus one minus cos x square plus one plus c is the answer here so same questions uh, all questions will be based on like this only so we'll move fast and we'll uh, we'll do fast only here okay 
you got now so we'll i will move fast here now here fifth question is given uh, like integral uh, log x whole square is given by x dx so integral log x whole square divided by x is given dx so i will take uh, t is equal to log x okay na? so dt is equal to how much log x is equal to 1 by x will come dx will come here okay so here dt is equal to 1 by x dx so 1 by x dx already there this is as a t so answer will become integral t square and 1 by x dx is equal to dt na? so dt here so what is the t square uh, what is the formula we can use here to get the answer here integral uh, integral x power of n is equal to sorry x power of dx is equal to x to the power of n plus 1 divided by what n plus 1 is the formula no okay so it will become uh, what will become it will become t cube by 3 okay it will come here so plus c so what is the answer now t cube what is the t, cube? t is equal to form what we took here log x log x whole power of 3 divided by 3 plus 3 will come here plus c will come this is a constant term here now moving to the sixth one now sixth one here here solution so first we uh, study this one like e power of tan inverse of x divided by 1 plus x square okay so here given question is this one i will take t is equal to tan inverse of x i will take okay so what is the tan inverse of x uh, derivative so i will do both sides derivative dt by dx is equal to d by dx of uh, tan inverse of x so all will all will i will we have to take like this only i am writing sometimes directly okay small small problems so i will explaining uh, like big problems so dt by dx is equal to here tan inverse of x is equal to what we can write it as 1 by 1 plus x square we can write okay so this is uh, one tan inverse of x value so here tan inverse x of value we get now so here dx i will take this one this side dt is equal to 1 by 1 plus x square into dx so here we find 1 by 1 plus x square this dx okay now in this place we will submit the dt okay so here question is what the question e power of x sorry e power of tan inverse of x divided by 1 plus x square dx in this uh, tan inverse of x is equal to t na? e power of t okay so this total become 1 sorry not 1 dt so it will become dt so what is the e power of t integral dt is equal to it will become e power of t so what is the e power of t plus c na? so e power t is equal to how much tan inverse of x means e power of tan inverse of x plus c is the answer here okay now moving to the next question now seventh question is given that integral sine uh, sine of tan inverse x divided by 1 plus x square dx here solution is uh, integral sine of tan inverse of x divided by 1 plus x square is given uh, into dx in this i will take tan inverse of x is equal to t so same like previous question only so here uh, d t is equal to 1 by 1 plus x square dx will come here okay so this we will submit here and we will get the form we will get the answer here integral sin t will come here because uh, this place t only represent represent and it is total d dx by uh, so 1 by dx 1 plus x square dx is equal to dt will come here so this dt so integral sin t minus cos t will come no? so minus cos t okay this is the answer here plus c will become and t is equal to how much uh, tan inverse of x means minus cos of tan inverse x plus c here now eighth question solution here eighth question is given that uh, integral 1 by 8 plus 2 x square dx is given na? so in this uh, what we can do is here uh, what we can do here mm, okay right so here we can take 1 by 2 from these two time these two uh, given values it will become integral 1 by 4 plus x square dx will come okay from this uh, 1 by 2 into integral of 1 by 2 square plus x square dx we can write and 1 by 2 into integral this 1 by a square x square okay formula is integral 1 by a square plus x square dx is equal to what is the formula you know that one so please go through there and if you find the you are in a key concepts but that is 1 by a uh, 1 by a tan inverse of 
tan inverse of x by a plus c will come answer is here okay so means in this way we have to submit the values like 1 by a 1 by a means 2 uh, uh, so tan inverse of x by a means x by 2 okay this is a plus c here so this is answer here so please go through the your uh, in the your key concepts there is you will, you will find this formula so it is very very important formula okay this type of formulas will come uh, when doing the problems i will explain the, the, uh, there only okay now moving to the next question ninth one so here ninth question is given that integral 3x square divided by 1 plus x power of 6 dx is given solution here uh, what we can take it as uh, x cube i will take t is equal to so dt is equal to 3x square will come here into dx so this total part will come here okay in the form in the form of d, dt so here uh, integral 3x square divided by 1 plus x power of 6 dx is equal to i will write it as one uh, integral uh, dt divided by 1 plus uh, this x uh, x cube is equal to t i took now so in this t square will come here it will become okay so integral d, uh, dt by 1 plus t square is equal to this formula you, you can here tan inverse of t and plus c here okay so 1 by 1 plus x square is equal to integral dx is equal to 1 uh, so tan inverse of x now this is the formula here okay and here the solution is uh, tan inverse of t is equal to how much x cube x cube plus c is the answer here now moving to the next question 10th one now 10th question is given here uh, solution here integral 2 by under root of 25 plus 9 x square is given dx so i will write like this i'll bring two outside and it will become 1 by uh, under root of 9 x square i will write first and 25 i will write like next so it will become like this so i will take three common from these two terms and it will become uh, like uh, 9 i will take from these two things and it will become 2 by 3 will come so because 9 comes out of the root it will become 3 okay you know now just this thing okay from this one uh, integral sorry 1 by so under root of x square plus uh, 25 by 9 means 5 by 3 whole cube whole square i will write here like dx so it is a uh, formula like uh, 1 by under root of x square plus um, what we can say a square thing that it will become so integral dx is equal to sin h inverse of x okay this will come here sin h inverse of x so what is the answer here means then 2 by 3 into uh, integral 1 by x square plus 5 by 3 whole square is equal to uh, we can write it as sin h inverse of sin h inverse of x x means how much here uh, sin h inverse of x by a sorry i forgot this uh, in writing firstly so it will become uh, x divided by 5 by 3 will come sin h inverse of x divided by 5 by 3 will come here this is the answer okay